So I have been covering on my show the uh, topic of IVF and surrogacy mm-hmm. because it's taken a very dark turn. Yes. Um, and people don't want to talk about that because we want to believe in surrogacy in the fluffy ideal of a couple that has been struggling with fertility for 10 years, they finally break, we have the scientific mm-hmm. breakthrough. And that is a circumstance for a minority of people where yes. it's, you know, we finally can turn to science to give us that one child that we always hoped for. I know mm-hmm. one girl that literally tried to get pregnant for 10 yeah. years, you know, 10 years. And they are, are very modest. I would say they're mm-hmm. lower middle class family. Yep. They remortgaged their home to be able to afford IVF treatment. Yep. They were able to have a child and you go, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I also have a very close friend, same exact deal. They yep. tried to get pregnant for 10 years. But what's actually happening now, it's becoming the plaything of the rich. So mm-hmm. it's not because they can't have children. They already have children. They just yep. want more children. Yep. Um, but they uh, don't want to hurt their bodies. They don't want to hurt their bodies. Because Khloe the Kardashian didn't, just didn't want to get pregnant, but she yep. wanted to have the same sibling yes. right, as Tristan Thompson. And then she spoke out about the fact that she couldn't connect with this yep. son that she had okay. because she walked to the hospital, had no spiritual experience of pregnancy, and just picked up a child. A woman just labored yep. for hours, gave birth to her child, and she walked out with it. Yep. No, no, There's no, no, no. something she sat about in the that. Bed. She sat in the hospital bed and did a photo shoot. She did a photo shoot, and then she was honest, at least, to her yeah. credit, and said this felt very transactional, yeah. but she took the transaction. She finished yeah, the transaction, she did. Yes. Yeah. and she went home and then said, I can't connect. Lance Bass has just spoken yeah. out about having, uh, I think, twin boys, mm-hmm. and that they did not want to connect with him or love with yeah. love him for two years, but they wanted um, his mother, whenever the mo- yeah. his mother would come over, they would embrace them. And when they talk about it, they put themselves at the center of this victimhood where they're like, I couldn't connect with the baby. It's the I- child. What about the child? Yeah. What about the surrogate? And mm-hmm. so Chrissy Teigen has three children, yep. okay? She has three children. Mm-hmm. She had two children on her own. Yep. Then she wanted a third, and then she got pregnant, you know? Mm-hmm. And then she decided she wanted a fourth, mm-hmm. and she impregnated a surrogacy. Yep. This is gluttony. And the thing that, so some backstory is that they were trying to have a third child. She got pregnant, and she had a miscarriage, which also created this whole controversy where she said that it was an abortion. She actually had a miscarriage, but she called it. An abortion, I think, just for clout. It was very weird. So she had had a very, very traumatic pregnancy, knew that she wanted more kids, but didn't think that she would be able to carry more kids. And so, but she and John decided to try one more time and see if it would work. So she did get pregnant. Yep. But she had already found this great surrogate and had the idea to have, you know, two more. So she had the surrogate carry this fourth child while she was pregnant with a third. So she knew that she could get pregnant again, mm-hmm. but oh, I, mm, th- it wasn't twins and I really wanted twins. So she artificially created twins. Okay, anyway, here is the post. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted four children. As a little girl, two glow worms and two cabbage patch dolls were perpetually in my arms. Me, 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 me. Helping me stir my pretend kitchen watching Alf with me. We slept together nightly, each getting the same amount of kisses as to not make the other jealous. My mom has always searched for the pound puppy with four pups in her pouch, having no qualms about opening and peeking inside before purchasing. After losing Jack, that was her miscarriage baby, Um, I didn't think that I'd be able to carry any more babies of my own. To be honest, I personally blocked out a lot of my mindset during that time, but one clear memory is being surrounded by people who wanted to make sure that I wouldn't go through that pain and loss again. In 2021, we reached out to a surrogacy agency with our first correspondence inquiring about perhaps having two tandem surrogates because she wanted twins. Um, Twins, kind of. Both a baby boy and a girl. At some point early in our surrogacy journey, I came out of a therapy session, walked downstairs, and said to John, I want to try to carry one more time. If it doesn't work, we'll be okay. We've already seen the worst. I feel like that's the one moment that she's being honest. Mm-hmm. Like she's, she obviously is going to therapy to try to figure out whether they want to do this, whatever they're working on. That was like the only moment of authenticity where it was like, mm, maybe this doesn't feel right. Like, let me try one more time. What if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing that you did every minute of the day? That would be pretty creepy. What if I told you that that's exactly what's happening every time that you go online? Your internet provider is legally allowed to store logs of every website that you've ever visited, and they can sell this data to anyone. That's why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so that your internet provider cannot see what you're doing online. You might be asking yourself, well, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, doesn't that mean that the VPN can log my data instead? No, not with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is the first major VPN provider to engineer all of their VPN servers to run in RAM, which makes it impossible for their servers to store any data. So stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Candice right now and find out how you can get three extra months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Candice, expressvpn.com slash Candice to learn more. And then she says, I promise I would be okay no matter what happened. I remember saying I just couldn't go on wondering my whole life if I should have tried again. 
So they restarted the IVF process, the same process that gave us their beautiful Luna and Miles. We made new embryos. We did my transfer, and we were so happy to learn that it worked. We were pregnant again with our little girl, Esty. And then at the same time, they met the most incredible, loving, compassionate surrogate, Alexandra. I knew that she was a perfect match for us the moment we spoke to her. All of our wishes and dreams aligned. I wanted to be her friend. This is like very disgusting it's, for me to listen to because I like, just don't think people understand the facts about surrogacy. Mm -hmm. That at the end of the day, science is not able to trump biology. The yeah. amount of, first off, miscarriages that surrogates mm -hmm. go through. The idea that they are doing this, not because they're thinking, I want to give Chrissy Teigen a child. She mm -hmm. didn't know who she's going to be matched to. She wanted the yeah. money. Yeah. Okay, so there is an element of this that is, when I, I saw this piece written by actually a far left liberal feminist mm -hmm. um, who was talking about the fact that this is and will forever be a form of, of slavery, like mm -hmm. sex slavery. And it's because the women need the money. They're willing to give their bias for a transaction. Yeah. This is no different than prostitution, except yeah. this prostitution doesn't last one night it lasts for 10 months okay mm -hmm. and people don't didn't like that when I said that on my show and I said you are watching this this isn't the case of the person who goes to their sister who's able to have children or mm -hmm. a person who can't have children yeah. uh, they're they're actually saying I want this yeah. gay men yeah. right they are wealthy gay men are, are the people that are signing up for this the people most judge. yeah because exactly because they're saying well I just don't want to have sex with a woman think about these mm -hmm. vain things Christy is basically saying from a time I was a little girl I always wanted four children yeah. want 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 me 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 yeah. she's not thinking about the surrogate she's yeah. thinking I have a wealthy it's not husband real life. and I can afford it Kim Kardashian yeah. she, granted she had two tough pregnancies but she had two successful pregnancies she had two children Yep. Right, she had a girl and she had a little boy, just like Chrissy Teigen did. Yep. And then she said, "I want more." So she then went because she could afford it, and she had yep. surrogacy. Khloe Kardashian didn't want to have sex with her ex-husband. These are not yeah. examples of people that should be allowed to have a surrogate yeah. because you want, 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 and you can afford it, mm -hmm. right? And it's just these are the same people that you will hear piloting all of the concerns about women and women's issues, yep. and they don't think about that. They don't think about what the surrogate surrogate goes through when that. The, the process, because yeah. I, you know, have children, you don't understand what women go through in birth and mm -hmm. in labor. The concept of giving birth to a child and then having that child removed from my arms to then be given to a Khloe Kardashian that's waiting in yeah. the waiting room or a Pete Buttigieg, there's something about that that is demonic. Yes. It is demonic. Emotionally, and but also physically, emotionally, biologically. For, for the child. Hormones. For the child. Like, they yeah. know your voice. Yeah. They know your voice. And that is why I didn't want to denigrate Khloe Kardashian for being honest about and yeah. raw and honest about it because people needed to hear that. She said, nobody, nobody ever tells that. you about this. Yeah. They all make it glamorous. Christine is making it glamorous. I yeah. always wanted me, me, me. I mean, look and at then her I got little, it. Like, and now I'm hugging and kissing, kissing her. And I named belly. the baby after the surrogate. So it's yeah. totally fine yeah. that this woman carried my child for me because I could afford it. That's the only reason yeah. that girl did that. That girl, you know what, who didn't dream of growing up and giving Christine a child? Alexandra. Yeah. Okay? So for whatever circumstance, it's probably a ton of money that was mm -hmm. offered that you can make in 10 months. And so that dynamic in that article that I read that they were describing, she said, surrogacy for me, when we when we have established equality is when rich women are carrying the, the children of poor. Yeah. Right? You're never going to see that. No. Never. Because this is being driven by financial incentives. Yeah. So do not believe this. We want to give them a gift. Does that circumstance exist? Yes. I've seen them. Yes, I've read it's about very them. very rare. Yeah. It's extremely rare. I've read about those circumstances where they keep the surrogate in the family. Mm -hmm. it, or it is their family member. It's a sister caring yep. for her sister because she's had ovarian cancer mm -hmm. and literally cannot. And that is cannot, a beautiful, it's beautiful thing. It's yes. beautiful. But this is becoming something else. And we have to have the courage to talk about that and realize mm -hmm. what you are seeing in the culture that's taking yep. place, which is greedy, rich people mm -hmm. that can never have enough of anything. They can't have enough houses, they can have enough boats, mm -hmm. they can have enough vacations, they can have enough planes, and now they can't have enough kids, and they don't even have to put their bodies through it to yeah. have it, and it's removing a spiritual element of pregnancy, and I I personally am sickened by it, barring those, yeah. you know, e examples of people who mm -hmm. genuinely have remortgaged their yeah. homes and have tried everything to be able to have yeah. one child, because that's something else, I think. If you like this video, you will like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking the link in the description.